Welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the Upper Midwest region. It's the week of April 14, 2008, and I'm Daryl Sager. South Dakota has announced that the state surpassed 1 million acres in land lease for oil, gas, and mineral exploration. That's nearly 10 times more land leased in just eight years, according to a quote in the Rapid City Journal. The desire for more land corresponds to higher oil prices. The Illinois House Public Utilities Committee has approved a bill on nuclear plants. It voted to lift the state's nearly 30-year moratorium. The Illinois Sierra Club said it would fight the bill if it moves to the floor, according to Crane's Chicago Business. The Iowa Power Fund has approved a $2 million grant for Green Plains Renewable Energy. The money will help fund the corporation's alternative energy development plan. This includes a small-scale algae farm to create energy, according to Valley News Today. Wisconsin state regulators have voted to evaluate the possibility of wind energy on Lake Michigan and Lake Superior. The evaluation would explore cost, lake bed development, and impact on bird life on the Great Lakes, according to the Associated Press. Excelsior Energy is asking the Minnesota Public Utilities Commission to put a hold on its request for a power purchase agreement. The agreement would go toward its, goal, its coal gasification plant in the Iron Range, according to the Timberjay. The request for the hold comes after the PUC's denial last fall on a phase of the Misaba Energy Project. The North Dakota Public Service Commission will hold the second hearing for the proposed Big Stone 2 project. Arguments are slated for April 28th through the 30th. Montana Dakota Utilities and Otter Tail Power will discuss their amended application for the project according to the Clean Up the River Environment. While opponents of the plan will ask the utilities to stand behind their cost projections, as the proposal stands, ratepayers would have to make up the cost overruns. Wisconsin Governor Jim Doyle has announced funding for a plant to produce biodiesel. Four million dollars will go toward the construction of a facility that will crush soybeans to produce oil. The plant would process 20 million bushels of soybeans a year, according to the governor's office. And that's it for this week. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us. Please join us again next week.